I have not completed my reading for today's class. There is no such thing as a chill week in university. I'm just trying to set this up. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting off this week with a week in my life. First week of college, I guess. First week of university. Of my final year at the University of Toronto. Technically school started Thursday, but I only had one class. So I am just gonna count this as the first week from Monday to Thursday or Monday to Friday. I don't have class on Friday. And so yeah, I'll take you guys with my, with, I'll take you guys through it with me. I am a little tired, so my brain is a little slow. I do have to get running. Like I don't actually have time to be sitting here right now today i just have french if you saw my course planning video you might know but i'm taking five classes right now but i'm gonna drop one and just take um six what 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 am i saying i'm gonna take i have five but i'm gonna drop one and take four yeah i'm putting my socks on so i'm trying out french fsl 120 today if i feel like it's too hard i'm just gonna drop it like i'm just gonna take my the other one which is the soch course but we'll find out together also i have a photo shoot thingy after school today so i'm pretty excited about that First impression, this place is super cute. There's a little station here, a little station here, and then a little station here to choose your photos. For full bodies, you can stand on the back of there, and then for half bodies, you can just skinny your back. It's not good. Sure. But I feel like. spicy the water. I mean, the wasabi. The wasabi. The wasabi. And, like, some of my friends have been like, this is a Nike Tama Gyudon. Yeah. Takoyaki. What's yours? What is this? Yaki Onigiri. Yaki Onigiri. Takoasa. And then this is a Kitsune Udon. Wow, you remembered them all. I did. <laughs> How is that? Oh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. I feel like they gave so much more than last time. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> why are you not embarrassed? <laughs> Why are why is this is something not to, we don't need to be embarrassed about this. Actually you're right. This is a creation. Everybody's, that everybody a, knows everybody's about. a bot. Everybody knows about so no no <laughs> but like who uses it on the DTC? Please stand clear of the doors. How to eat a Kit Kat on the GTC tutorial. Break it like this. Who breaks it like that? So it doesn't get on your hands. Wait, did you do that on purpose? No, oh, it melted obviously. Oh oh oh. I think I'm gonna get a cavity. <laughs> I just got a notification. Oh my goodness. Why are you looking at my bag? Why are you looking at my bag? Oh my gosh. Next stop, Kitsune Udon. I thought you would do that. <laughs> Let's see if we could do that at the same time. 
people without telling me. Oh. Why are we stupid? Why are we stupid? Okay, no more. <laughs> of two courses. The tutorials, I was gonna maybe try this for the week and see which one I want to stay in, but I thought that tutorials weren't happening this week, but they are. And so I think I'm just gonna go to French and drop this because I was looking at the syllabus and it actually has a lot of work. And French was pretty fun on Monday, so I'm gonna drop this. Hello everyone, it is the evening. No, it's night, it's like 10.45. Also, I realized my eyelid kind of went away. I think I'm just like really tired. But before I go to bed, I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I got at the mall because I went to the mall and it was great. Um, No, it wasn't. I was getting a headache and I actually hate it. I don't like malls, to be honest. But I needed a new mascara, so I, I did this little quiz that they had on a QR code um, in the benefit section of Sephora and it said this is the one I should get. So we'll try it out. I just got the mini one because i was like i don't know if i'm gonna love it or not so um, we'll try it maybe i'll try it tomorrow and then y'all can see if it looks good or not and then for my friend's birthday present i got these two things roller lash it's just solid mascara i used it in high school i haven't used it a lot recently but it's a solid mascara so i was like let me get her that and this is like a really really cute packaged lipstick like not lipstick like not lip gloss I guess it's lipstick, but one of the tips that are like, I'll put a picture. Yeah, I can't really show the inside, but the inside's a lot cuter than the outside. And then I got another one of these tank tops from Uniqlo that has a built-in bra. Like you probably saw in my other vlogs because I'm literally wearing it like so often, but I have a gray one and I've been thinking about it like since I wore it the very first time when I got it because I was like, I need to get another one. So comfy, they're pretty decent quality. So that's that. Tomorrow I have one class. It's just a tutorial. So I think that should be fine. I am just gonna really concentrate tomorrow and do a bunch of readings Maybe not a bunch, maybe just one Like I just have this one that's so long that I have to finish I'm gonna do that And then I'm seeing a friend tomorrow after class I'm really excited Anyway, that's that, I'll see you tomorrow Hello everyone, so I know I already said bye But I'm back, I just took a shower I realized that I haven't really talked as much as I want to Like just to you in this vlog so far Just so that this could be like literally helpful for somebody Because I don't want to just like film me for no reason, right? The course I took, I think I already kind of, kind of gave you guys like a first impression of French. I'm not sure if I did, but if I didn't, um, FSL 120, so far it feels doable. I don't feel so overwhelmed by it. There's a lot of assessments, but they're all small, which I actually, it makes me like feel like I'm in high school. It's not like a 45% essay, but there's a bunch of like 12% stuff. I decided I'm going to stay in it and I don't really know anybody in that class, but I think it's fine. Honestly, I feel like sometimes it's better to not know anybody in a language course because then I'm not as like embarrassed to like try and participate in one 
up. And then today was HSD 410, which is the case studies in health policy. Honestly, I'm pretty excited about it because I'm excited to learn about different case studies. But the course is more so using case studies as a tool in order to learn and apply certain concepts that are related to health and health policy. And so Prof was just kind of emphasizing the fact that it's not we're just we're not just here to like increase our knowledge. Like we're trying to practice the skill of like using concepts, applying concepts, understanding them and like explaining them. So today was the only lecture in the whole course. And then for the rest of the weeks, there are case study presentations. Next week, the prof is doing one so that she can give us an example. But all the following weeks, we're going to be in pairs or just individually preparing a presentation. And so the course is heavily graded on that presentation and a paper that you write with it, I'm pretty sure. And the rest is like participation or something. That kind of spooked me. But I was like, one thing I like is that once I'm done, I will be done, right? Like once I get that week done, the other weeks will be like chill, quote unquote, not chill, but like chill. What? There's no such thing as a chill week. I think I really realized that today. I was like, there's no such thing as a chill week in university. From the get-go, it's just super busy. If any of you are watching this and you're not in university, yeah, heads up. There's no easing into class. There's no easing into like, hey, day one will just be syllabus. No, it's syllabus plus lecture. And then HST 410, as you saw, I met my friend Andrea. I was so happy to see her. I, I literally feel like we catch up and then she's on the other side of the world or like I'm in Korea or like something. Like we're just never in the same country. <laughs> And so it was so good to see her. That one is health and pharmaceuticals. Definitely there's a strong sense of a negative perception of pharmaceutical companies from the prof. And I think she admits it, but I'm okay with that as long as there's good reason and there's facts and it's not going to be super biased because that was like one thing my friend also pointed out. I know that every single prof is going to have their personal bias as no matter how much you try to like take it out. You stand for your research for a reason, right? Like you got into your research for a reason, like your area of expertise for a reason. And so there's always going to be a little bit of bias in your thinking. I think if she makes that clear, I think it'll be okay. Because so far it was really like, I don't know, we did this one quiz and then it felt kind of like sus not sus in like a, you know what i mean like it felt like there's like one right answer that we have to say about everything kind of vibe so i think it was just another reminder though that profs are people i think when you come into university like in first year especially i was like oh my gosh everything they're telling me is just like a fact i have to memorize everything to a t but the more you're in university you actually learn that the whole point is like critical thinking and that includes the material that maybe the professor has published or the textbook that the professor has written right like all of everything you need to engage with with it critically critically doesn't mean like criticizing it it just means like uh being aware of like where are these ideas coming from like what are these ideas related to what are the implications of the idea and etc 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 and like how what does my response to this idea tell me about my underlying biases and values and beliefs and whatever 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 tomorrow is the french tutorial like i said earlier and i think it'll be good i just want to say all that before i forget it tomorrow because like my brain capacity is so small Anyways, I'm gonna let my hair dry and go to bed. Cause baby love It is officially the last day of my week for school. I have not completed my reading for today's class. So I'm gonna do it on my commute down, but I'm, I'm starting to feel a little sick. So I think I'm just gonna come home after class. So like right at 12, I'm just gonna get back on the subway and come back home. Yeah, and I'll just do work at home. Friends, um, it's 
the end of the week, so, oh, well, end of the school week, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. But today, I literally felt so sick in so many ways because I'm on my period, so I was getting, like, back cramps and stomach cramps. And I think I ate something wrong yesterday because I was getting, like, stomach ache. And I was, like, so tired. And so everything was combining, and then I was getting a headache, and I just felt like... Like, it wasn't like I was gonna faint. Like, I don't want to be dramatic, but I felt like... I don't know. I just felt like if I fell over, like, I would just knock it up. I don't know. I just felt so out of it. I think I was just tired. But, yeah, I came home right after class because I didn't want to stay at school. Since, I was, obviously, I was feeling not very good. And then I took a nap for, like, two hours. Yeah, I was supposed to have a meeting at, like, 2.30, but... The person was like we could just do it tomorrow if you want and i was like yes i need to sleep more so then i slept until like four and then i ate a little bit did a little bit of work and now we're going to church for bible study i didn't really do any schoolwork today besides um doing readings on the commute that's that this week i've been just so tired but we pushed through the first week but right now i'm just like chilling in the car i don't know like we're supposed to leave right now but rachel and richard are eating their dinner so i was like you know what y'all i'm gonna be in the car and just take a nap till you guys come out tomorrow i don't have any class but i'm just gonna be doing some work for like work work and trying to just prepare for worship night tomorrow is my church monthly worship night so i'm also gonna prepare for that and hopefully i can do a little bit of editing for the vlogs because i haven't put out a vlog in like two weeks all right thanks for watching yeah hope you have a great day all right bye